What's up, my lovely little lilies? This is Rob from A Gay Guy Plays, and today on The Daily Grind, we're back with another installment of Rob Reads You Shit That You Don't Want To Read Yourself, the Heart of Demos website teaser edition. Now, before we jump into any of that, I did have two announcements to make. First and foremost, I'm going to be streaming the Heart of Demos starting tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'd be on a little bit earlier, but I actually decided to take like a 5 a.m. shift so I could knock out some last bits of work before I start streaming tomorrow the day after tomorrow and Thursday as well. So it's going to be three whole days of me deciding whether I'm still in love with Warframe or maybe the romance has died off and it's time to move on to something new. Who knows? I'm hoping that they can save all of my good vibes from them from all of these years. Regardless, ignore all of the alerts from my DoorDash. Listen, I got country fried steak on the way. But before we jump into any of that, this is the second part um, of the things that I want to talk about before we actually take a look at the site, is uh, the Helmuth nerfs. Now, if you guys are following me on Twitter, you probably already know what I have to say about this, but I want to keep it nice and concise and read you a couple things from there. As many of you guys know, the Mashu rank has been dropped as a prerequisite, which I'm rolling my eyes at, and I know many of you guys are also really frustrated with, and then the nerfs. So let's address this real quick. So DE dropped the Mashu rank from 15 down to 8, and they say original, in their original post, we consider this a customization system for very experienced Warframe players. Mastery rank 8 is still single digits, boo. Like, really? Really experienced players? We do not intend to let newer players unlock this system. Mastery rank 8 still single digit, boo. You can't even get to some of the better weapons at mastery rank 8, I'm just saying. We intentionally place a segment deep into progression, 8 is deep into progression. 8 out of 30 is deep into progression? Okay, sure. Um, to ensure that only experienced players could access the segment and begin their journey with the helmet. I'm rolling my eyes right now. So you guys already know how I feel about the casualization of Warframe. And as we can see, DE is consistently making those choices. They don't care about progression in the game. They just want quick ins and outs. But then again, who doesn't want a little quick in and out now and then? Um, then we, of course, have all of the rules changes, a.k.a. nerfs. Now, one of the things that you guys know about me is I'm a no BS kind of person. I hate it when people try to put this weird PR spin and say, these rule changes, bitch, just call it a nerf. A nerf is a nerf is a nerf. You don't need to, like, say it by any other name, all right? So... They put into text, why do these infused Warframe abilities have these rules? It was apparent in player feedback and playtesting that these infused Warframe abilities had the potential to be the overwhelming choice. Now let me rephrase that in the no PR, realist bitch, no bullshit phrasing, okay? It was apparent in player feedback and playtesting that these infused Warframe abilities had the potential to be very popular because players liked them, which is not ideal. Let's repeat that. It was apparent in player feedback and playtesting that these infused Warframe abilities had the potential to be very popular because players liked them, which is not ideal. Instead of changing the ability outright due to those concerns, we decided to give them slight rules when infused. Slight rules, aka nerfs. Can we just call them nerfs? We're all grown-ups here. Like, you don't need to hit us with all of the Sesame Street bullshit and rules changes. Now, um, of course, you guys can tell that I was definitely upset about this. And you know what? I decided to let my energy live in happier places rather than putting it into a very upset video. Of course, we got a little sass to begin things, but I did want to say something, you know, on a little bit of a positive note. They haven't figured out, you know, the final percentages of how the how toned down these things are going to be. So who knows? Maybe it's not going to be as intense as some of us think. But again, this does seem like a big thumbs down when it comes to this new feature. Players are excited for these abilities. We should be able to use these abilities at full strength, and DE should really just, you know, pull up their big boy pants and work on making the rest of the other abilities just as interesting and just as desirable. And it doesn't need to happen all at once. It can happen one step at a time. We're willing to be patient, as long as they don't, you know, take the easy route and just nerf the shit that's actually good. Anyway, 
let's go ahead and jump into the heart of Demos. I have a feeling that this is gonna be a very long one. So um, let's just get it started. Uh, coming August 25th to PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Coming this week to the Nintendo Switch. Visit the grotesquely beautiful Cambian Drift in the heart of Demos. The last, the latest update in the ever-expanding Origin systems. Work with the Entrati to defend Demos from spreading the infestation that threatens to constrict the heart of Demos. Are you ready to meet the Entrati family, Tenno? Is it? And isn't it just one person? I'm, I just I get the feeling it's just one it's just one person right okay the new heart of Demos quest will see you following mother and her loyal if a little damaged servants Lloyd and Otak into the sinister mystery that surrounds the infested moon of Demos you must look past Demos's wormed exterior if you ever hope to understand its secrets Tenno collect the tattered remains of Zaku and unleash its void power to corrupt and confuse enemies. Infuse your Warframes with new abilities by utilizing the Helmet system aboard your orbiter. Access Heart of Demos by completing the Mars Junction on your path through the Star Chart. So let's clarify what DE thinks is very experienced players. They have to have unlocked the Mars Junction and be Mastery Rank 8 experienced let's keep moving open world as you explore the cambian drift you'll learn more about the landscape teeming with life that is just as quick to tear you into pieces as look at you observe and collect the useful flora and mining resources and come face to face with demos's more sentient inhabitants the entrati which is right there i mean i don't know they're looking kind of crazy the Entrati are ancient Orican who have been integrated into the infestation that spreads across Demos. Semi-conscious as a group of Entrati researchers will be your guides as you venture out into the Cambian Drift to complete bounties, collect resources, conserve wildlife, and restore Demos. You'll learn much more about the Entrati when you start to dive into the heart of Demos, I know. I'm going to be completely honest with you, that's probably the one thing that I'm excited about. Like, I'm not like, oh my god, I need to know everything that's going on. But I'm like, hmm, interesting. Okay, let's see what's going on with that. All the visuals are uh, are beautiful as usual, but I'm sorry, pretty is only going to get you so far. So, you know, they got their landscapes because, you know, they got to show you their lighting. That's pretty. I, I appreciate that. That's the night worm. That's the day worm. Um, that's a bunch of landscape that I know I'm just going to get stuck in. I'm just being honest with you. All of this shit, very, very pretty. Love the lighting, but also, I'm a, I'm a bullet jump right into that shit. That's very pretty, and you know, for the most part, I should be able to bullet through that, bullet jump through that pretty clearly. Also very pretty. Again, nobody is ever going to hit DE and say that their game is ugly. What they will say is your game lacks progression and is very, very shallow when it comes to its depth. <laughs> Um, let's move on. We have Zaku. Discover more about the broken Warframe. Zaku was designed by the Warframe community from concept to ability design and is sure to make a massive impact both in fighting in on Demos and in battles to come. Zaku and their abilities revolve around their connection to the Void, passively granting a 25% chance of evading projectiles, buffing weapons, and stealing enemy firepower. Wait, what? Their abilities revolve around... Oh, okay. I thought that that was just... Wait, passively... Okay, passively granting a 25% chance of evading projectiles. Buffing weapons... Okay, that's all separate. I thought they were saying that that was their passive. Master Zaku to terrify enemies and dominate the battle. Um, I'm going to leave this link down in the description box below just in case you guys want to take a look at any of these videos. Grab the Zaku collection in the market to instantly add Zaku to your arsenal along with their signature Warfan weapon, Cyandana, and Alt Helmet. I actually really like the Alt Helmet. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so those are the different things coming in. Zaku, Zaku Kintsu Alt Helmet, the Artifact Cyandana. Let's take a look. Oh, it's that weird one that's kind of like, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, and the Quasis Warfan. I wonder what the stats are going to be. The Quasis scatters ethereal daggers that are even more deadly accurate when wielded by Zaku. Oh yeah, this is the one where you can throw shit. I'm excited. We'll have to see how this goes. I wonder if there's also going to be a new stance with it. Mm, we'll see. Helmet system. Ugh, the bane of my existence. The helmet is responsible for all life-sustaining systems aboard your orbiter, but you have not used it to its full potential. Now it hungers for more. Feed it and lock a solar system's worth of potential customization for your Warframes. From brand new abilities to swapping existing Warframe abilities by subsuming a Warframe. To unlock your helmet's full potential, gain standing with the Entrati Syndicate to earn helmet segment for your orbiter. 
Your helmet has near limitless appetite, and you must feed it resources to keep it satisfied. By feeding it enough of the resources it craves, your helmet will distill secretions, which you will use to infuse your Warframe with new abilities. Warframes can have one infused ability by replacing any of their four default powers. Lying dormant in the helmet is the potential for eight new abilities, but you can also subsume a Warframe to meld it with the helmet and unlock that Warframe's signature power. These, there are 44 possible infused abilities to acquire by using the helmet. Don't make the design decision lightly, <laughs> Denno. By letting the helmet subsume a Warframe, the Warframe will leave your arsenal permanently, but you can restore that Warframe's pre-selected ability and transfer it to another Warframe. Um, ever wanted to release a Fire Blast as Hydroid or thought that Valkyr might benefit from Rhino's Roar? Now the power is in your hands, Tenno. Um, new player experience. The new player experience complete with new opening cinematic and starting area is live. Walk the first dream like steps from your journey as Tenno all over again by visiting the Codex and selecting the Awakening. I might actually have to do that because my quest for that was never complete. Uh, traverse Demos in new ways. Open world means new ways to travel. Take, for instance, the Velocipod, a volt quick insectoid creature that will let you ride on its back as if it were a K drive. So, what was the point of driving a K drive, building a K drive if you were just gonna be able to ride these or have an Archer Wingu? Right? I'm just. Sometimes, sometimes I'm just like, mm. Not only that, Heart of Demos brings a long requested change to all K-Drives. Shooting, you can now fire your secondary weapon aboard K-Drives or Velocipods while moving, racing into flight and keeping the momentum going as you duck and dodge enemy fire. Keep in mind, Tenno, weapons will be stowed while jumping, doing tricks, grinding, or generally doing anything the Vent Kids would think is cool. Check, check? The fuck? Customize your cave drive even further with new mods. So we have Primo Flare, increase maximum trick combo to 6,000, Bomb the landing, tap and hold grind in the air to execute a 20 meter slam shockwave. Juice, executing tricks charges energy, 55 energy per 100 tick points. That's not terrible. Vapor trail, add 100% or add 10 boost speed consumes 10 energy. I'm not gonna do that. Um, tame infested companions. I'm so excited about this. Uh, not the domestic drone, but uh, Demos is a violent and cruel place. Between each infested, there's a little piece. Infested predators and Kavat variations um, fight against the emerging gray strain. Should one of these creatures become injured, you can tranquilize and recover them. Work with the Entry to stabilize the infestation and recruit new companions to your cause. If you'd like even more infestation, we're going to skip that because it looks stupid. Unleash the Necromech! Meet the Necromech Seno, an Orokin mechs equipped with overwhelming firepower and devastating abilities. Through Transference, you'll be able to control these Necromechs while in the Cambian Drift and use them to turn the tide of any battle no matter what the odds. Wait a second. Is it just in the Cambian Drift? Or is it everywhere? I don't know about how I feel about this. Hold on. Oh, it's just what we saw at... Um, it's just what we ended up seeing at uh, whatever it's called. So we're going to skip all of that. Uh, build your own Necromech by working with the Entrati to uh, find, take down, and scavenge Necromech wandering the Cambian Drift. Customize it further by equipping different weapons such as the Cortege, a life-siphoning flamethrower that only Necromechs can wield, as well as mods to buff your shields, health, ability, strength, and much more. Um, I hope that we'll be able to use this outside of the Cambian Drift. We probably will. It'll probably be like Arch Wings, or it'll probably be like um, like the K-Drives. This has to be usable elsewhere. Uh, new enemies and infested mod sets. Exposure to the vacuum of space has er 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 irrevocably... <laughs> I'm hungry, okay? My mouth is watering. I know my food's outside. Change the makeup of the infested. Ferocious new species known as the Grey Stream infested are spreading across the landscape of it, Demos. And then we have pictures... Very, very pretty. I really am not all that, like, excited. Like, it's just more enemies to kill. Like, unless they pose some new level of difficulty, I'm not super excited. Each elite infested approaches fighting in a unique way from the others. Whether you're fiercing, facing the razor-sharp limbs of the Demos Carnus or the Demos Saxum shoulder launchers, you must always have your guard up. Defeating these gray strain enemies has a chance to drop new infested mod sets based on the enemies they originate from. Ooh! 
Uh, for example, collect the Jugulus mod set and equip all three to unlock its sec bonus. A heavy slam attack that spawns tendrils to impale enemies from below. Isn't that just Hydroid's uh, tentacle? You just gave Hydroid passive away. The number of tendrils depends on the mod's level as your combo meter. So it could be even better than Hydroid's passive? That's just rude. Tenno reinforcements. Upgrade your arsenal with weapons and customizations, Tenno. When the Heart of Demos launches, find deadly pestilent infested weapons on the market or fight back against the infested with ancient Orokin weaponry. Uh, Zymos pistol. Infect your foes with a spore scattering pistol. Headshots burrow in and explode. If it's a kill shot, additional spore clouds are released that seek out nearby enemies. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. I hope it's good. Um, Keratinos Blades. Leave your mark with these infested claws with increased heavy attack range. Heavy attack at max combo to keep the extended range and slam radius for three minutes. Ooh, I like it. We're gonna have to play around with that. See, that's this is what I'm 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 looking for. I'm looking for some interesting shit. Um, Trumna Rifle. This devastating gun releases uses siphon energy to sap your target of their very essence. Ooh, it's a sucker one. I want to sap my target's essences. Um, specul... Speluc... Spel... Spelcrum... Speculum. I give up. A siphoning weapon of the Arokan era. This pistol's chambers are ready to be filled with your opponent's vital essence. So we're siphoning essence and we're uh, filling ourselves with their vital essences. Yo, this is a lot. Um, the Cortege, an ancient weapon designed by the Entrati for use of their Necromex. Primary fire, primary fire siphons life essence from the target to fuel a devastating alt fire, a heavy flamethrower with surprising range. Alt fire launches three projectiles in a fan pattern that explode, leaving a damaging area of effect for a short duration. All right, let's move on to the fashion frame. Hydroid Recam Collection. This actually looks really nice. Again, I've said it before, I hope that the textures on everything match. That's the first thing I'm gonna bitch about if it doesn't. Um, designed by Liger Zanuka of the Excalibur, Zato, and Kahora Urushu collections, Hydroid is getting a new seafaring look. The undisputed captain of the Origin System's high seas has new regalia complete with Warframe skin, Weapon skin, Cyandana, and Sentinel skin. I actually, I hope that it's cute because the concept is really, really good. I think it'll be interesting once I actually get to customize it. Um, the Hydroid Recam collection features the Hydroid Recam skin, uh, the Carcinus spear gun skin, and the Sif Sentinel bundle. Um... Twitch drops. So this is going to be for basically, let's see, you'll have a chance to receive a random Prex card every 20 minutes. So all you have to do is be in the Warframe directory. Just make sure that it's their Warframe streamer in directory wide. So as long as you're in the Warframe directory, you'll have a chance to get these Prex cards. Um, Tenogen merch, last chance. Nope. Demo supporter packs and initiate pack. Now, this is the one thing that really made me mad because right after they dropped the Helmuth Workshop where they nerfed everything, you know, not the rule set change, a slight rule set tweak, no, 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 where you nerfed it, they were like, hey, here's a demo supporter pack. Hey, here's Tenogen round 19. And I'm like, you really just nerfed the shit we love in Infusion. Just keep in mind, it's only Infusion. And then you go turn around and ask us for money. You see, this is why I couldn't make a video about all this shit. Start your journey into the heart of Demos with the best value on platinum exclusive cosmetics, weapons, weapon skins, and more. Check out the new Demos supporter packs and the new improved initiate pack. So this is the um, stuff that you actually saw at TennoCon. The really, really cool pistol, shotgun, and um, whip skin that's Liger designed. Um, there's also a new initiate pack that includes Nidus. So I guess it all kind of flows with all of the um, infested stuff that we're seeing. Let's see. So we're gonna skip all that. I guess there's nothing really else to say. These packs are best possible value with value with exclusive cosmetic boosters and so much more. I'm really curious to see if this is paid only, like money paid only, or if we'll actually be able to buy the cosmetics in game because they did say it's exclusive. So I don't know. Um, regardless, that is gonna be it 
for the teaser site, let me know down in the comments below if you are excited or if you're kind of like me where you're like, this may be a last dance, you know? See see if they can get the juices flowing. If the juices ain't flowing, then you know the, the juices are going, you know? The juices are going if they're not flowing. Um, so I'm crossing my fingers that it's good. I will be on again 9.30 a.m. tomorrow Pacific Standard Time over at twitch.tv backslash a gay guy plays. I hope to see you guys there. We will have Twitch drops live and um, hopefully we'll make it in before the, the update actually drops. Y'all, I'm trying to be like responsible at work and shit and get everything done, you know, for my responsibilities before. I'm just putting that out there. Uh, but I will see you guys then. Uh, leave all of your feelings down in the comments below. And as always, love somebody, hurt nobody, and wash your goddamn hands, especially while you're wearing a mask. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.